Moto Vlog Test 1. This is going to be a quickie. Oops. Uh, <laughs> already making mistakes. This is all new to me. God damn it. So, it's going to suck, but that's all right. All right, I'm riding a 2005 FXDI. It's injected. Uh, it's got a JD fairings, uh, JD Customs fairing. Jesus, can't even talk. And lowers. My good buddy, uh, was looking for an FXR, so I sold him my uh, 94 FXR, and then I bought this. I'll go back to an FXR later. Um, first time owning a Dyna. Uh, this is the same year as my uh, Rogue Glide, 2005. So. You can see nothing much to see here in this fucking town. I gotta go very far to enjoy myself, have a great motorcycle ride, get the fuck out of the city. Well, which is what I'm gonna do when I retire. Getting out of Dodge. So, in the meantime, I gotta work. I gotta make that money. Basically, this setup that I got on here, this is a, I've had the helmet for a while now. It's my, basically my first full face that I liked. I bought one, a couple years ago I bought one of those uh, built, but I didn't, I didn't measure my head. I didn't know anything about anything, so I bought like a, a medium because I was wearing a beanie for, you know, years. And my, my beanie was a medium, so I figured, I don't know, my beanie's a medium, I'll just get a medium full face. Well, it felt good in the showroom. And I go with a, and like a short little ride home from the showroom to home. I mean, the shop, I mean, not the showroom. Then we went on a trip to Death Valley. I slapped it on, and it was just squeezing my freaking temple. So. I gave that helmet to my uh, my brother. I think his uh, significant other is wearing it. So, so then I went to a three-quarter open face, like a bell. I think it's called the. Uh, what the hell you call that thing? It's very comfortable. So this is a Bell Qualifier DLX uh, with uh, MIPS. So if my head hits the ground, it's gonna not rattle my brain as much. And I like it. I'll probably have to wear earplugs still. I'm not wearing them right now. I should have test. I haven't tested them with earplugs yet, but. So this uh, GoPro Hero Black 5, whatever the fuck it is, god damn it. Ugh. I basically YouTubed uh, a bunch of stuff on GoPros, uh, mostly about vlogging. And then I came across this guy called Blockhead. And I just, I like the way his was set up. Uh, specifically because the video I watched he had a built qualifier DLX so kind of should I get on the freeway God damn it should I got on the freeway so I just basically copied him I follow him he's a I like his uh, vlogs so blockhead he's on uh, YouTube which I'm sure you guys all know if you're watching if you even 
there is anybody watching me, they know who Block It is. So. Oops, missed a gear. Yeah, this bike is, uh, since I got the lowers on here, I'm kind of cramped up. I might have to take these lowers off, I haven't decided yet. There's a heel toe shifter on here, which maybe that's the problem. I don't know. I still got to make a few changes to this bike. Uh, I think these are six inch straight risers. Too low. I'm going to go either eights or tens. I had tens on my FXR, uh, the Biltwell Murdochs. And these are sixes. And I need some pullbacks. So. That's for next uh, winter, or this winter, I should say. That's when I'll do it. Because I got to pull the fairing off, and I've already seen a couple of wiring that's a little, I like my wiring to be clean. So I got to fix the wiring. Figure out why my neutral light doesn't work. Could be the switch, too, in the back. So, but for now, I'll just ride it as is. Probably put some tens back on here. I don't know if I'm gonna do the Murdochs again or or maybe a uh, Big Owls. I haven't decided. I'm thinking chrome risers with black handlebars to offset, so everything's just not gonna be either all chrome or, or all black. And, and these mirrors I put on here just for now because there are some hokey pokey mirrors on there before I gotta see what's behind me so so these actually work kind of wish they were black though oops I saw my hand again I'm always adjusting my helmet it seems like it pops up a little bit Excuse me, fuck. I haven't eaten nothing, I just had half a cup of coffee. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. Oh, so basically this is the first ride on this uh, saddleman seat. I put the step up on here. I like all the seats out there. I like the BMCs. I like the, the Lucky Days. But from what I hear, well, not what I hear, what I've read, I'm 6'1". So I wanted a seat that wasn't going to, that was going to like push me up a little bit. I wanted that. Because there was a, this is a 2000, this is a 2005 and uh, the previous owner, had a newer lowrider seat on here. Ooh, it's windy. I don't know if you guys can be able to hear anything. So this is why this is a test run. To see what, uh, if this wind noise is gonna come through, especially on the freeway. Maybe I could just stick the vlogs on uh, back country roads where I'm not going so fast. That's why this can be my test. He had like a lowrider seat off a, a newer Dyna, like a 14 or a 15 or a 16. I don't know. And I sat real low in it. And then the well, what kind of sucks is they drilled a hole in the fender to accommodate for that seat because the, an 05 is a lot shorter. So I pulled off my seat, and there's two holes in my fender. I'm like, God damn it. So I couldn't go get a 505 seat. So I went down to a shop in Campbell called Slab Sides. I'm sure you guys heard of Slab Sides. Roger's cool, man. 
So he took his personal uh, Stadelman off of his Dyna, which I think is an old, whatever, 08 or whatever the hell it is, I don't know, the newer one. I stuck it on mine just to see and make sure the fit would be alright, and then I uh, ordered one through them. And so this is my first uh, ride on the Stadelman. And it does sit me up a little higher. Oof. 